Today we're going to be testing the double RSI for crypto stocks and forex, so let's get straight to it. Hey Trader Devs, my name's David and welcome to my channel where I go through trading strategies that I find on the web and on YouTube and then I use code to debunk the bad ones and find the good ones. Today we're going to be looking at a strategy that I found on the YouTube channel by Trader Prime. Uh, you can see his channel here. He found a trading strategy recently that used the double RSI. It's the RSI which is on a multi time frame. And we're going to be looking for overbought and oversold areas in the two RSIs to find confluence between the two. So I guess the best thing to do is to get over to my computer and have a look at that strategy. If I could just ask for a couple of seconds of your time if you don't mind giving a big thumbs up to this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content it helps me to get uh, known a bit more in the community so it'd be much obliged thank you very much okay over to my computer okay before i start uh credit where credit is due the trading strategy that i found is here on uh, the pro trade primes uh, youtube channel uh, quite a good channel has a lot of strategies today we're going to be looking at this one which is the simple double RSI trading strategy for day trading stocks and Forex the ultimate RSI the indicator trick okay so if I go over to trading view trading view is my preferred platform for charting uh, etc and also you they have a scripting area so I'm going to be able to script to backtest to make sure that this trading strategy actually works. Okay, if you don't have a uh, trading view, you can find the links down in the description where there's 30 pounds to $30 off. Okay, right. Uh, first things first, we're going to be adding two indicators which you'll see here. This is the RSI, which is the Relative Strength Index. Okay, to add that, we go up here to Indicators up here and we type RSI. And then you scroll down, you won't have all of these scripts, but it's the one that's under built in and it's the Relative Strength Index. Now we're going to click that twice and that's going to add the Relative Strength Index to our chart. All right, the first things first, we're going to have the RSI, which has the overbought and oversold. Uh, areas but it's all on default on the first one just go here on the cog here you can see that everything's actually default we've left the RSA upper bands to 70 and 30 now these zones here and here are what we call the oversold and overbought areas now not everybody uses that in that way but we're going to be looking at that as that is the strategy that was offered by trade prime and then the second we second RSI, we're actually going to move to a different uh, time frame without changing the time frame of the chart. I did actually forget to say that we're actually on the 15 minute time frame. So now if you go to the RSI inputs and then go time frame and then you choose num uh, choose one a day and that is going to give us our one day RSI. Now there's if we go to star, we're actually going to add the upper bands to 60 here and the lower bands to 40. Right, okay, so the idea is is that when RSI on the one day is above the 40, uh, the 60 here, that means that we're actually in an uptrend. When it's below the uh, 40, it means that we're in a downtrend, as you can see here. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have a look at the actual uptrend here. Now, we're going to be looking for somewhere where it's oversold, so just here. So we'll be getting in around this area here. Uh, I'm going to zoom into that area here. Okay, so that way you can see that area. Right, okay, so we'd actually get in around this area here as it becomes lower. And we'd actually add a, uh, a long position on one of these bars here. We're going to actually go correctly do it with code in a minute. But we'll add here and we'll be going for the swing low here. And we're doing a 1.5 risk to reward ratio, which is about that. Okay, that's pretty roughly done, but that's how that actually works. So as I said, the RSI is above the uh, 60 here for the day and below the the 30 in the uh, on the normal RSI, which is on the same time frame as the actual chart. That's how to do a long. Now, as always, the shorts are the opposite way around. Uh, so we're going to go over to here. Okay, I've managed to find a short area here. So we're actually lower than the 40 here, which means we're in a downtrend. And if I go over to here, we'll be able to see that we're above the RSI. 
So as I said earlier, the uh, the entry would be around here as it goes above there. So it'd be actually there. This would actually look like a loss. But let's have a look anyway. We're going to add a short position here and we would have been around here. And as uh, earlier, as I said, this would, would be looking for a local high. So it could be somewhere around here, I guess. Depends on how you work it out. Okay, and then we'd be looking for a 1 to 5, 1.5 and this is actually a loss. Okay, so that's how you actually find the uh, short entries. The idea is, is now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the code from these here. So I'm going to click on these little curly brackets here and I'm going to copy and paste all this code into my indicator generator. And that's uh, going to generate the code that we need to start uh, looking at this as a full strategy and a back to sting it as much as possible on all the currencies that we want, the cryptocurrencies, all the currencies, forex and stocks. OK, so what I'm going to do is start copying and pasting that into my indicator. Okay, after a couple of hours coding, and as you can see here, it's 2 a.m. in the morning here, and I've just managed to finish building this indicator. Okay, it's been quite good fun, uh, but I'm not uh, overly impressed by the results, but I have also done a bit of optimizing with my Python bot, so... Uh, we're going to look at that together. Okay, so as you can see, it actually gets the right entries here. So we're at the bottom of the RSI on the 14 and we're at the top of the RSI on the one day. And that's the perfect entry just there. So if I go down here, we can look through all of the settings here. I'm just going to go keep going down. Some of these we haven't actually used. But here is our RSI settings here. Now we're on the one day. And we also have our second RSI, which is here, which is on the 14 period. We also have our oversold periods and uh, overbought periods for the time frames here. So the higher time frame and the chart time frame. And so that's absolutely perfect. Right, okay. So as you can see, the perfect entries. And now let's have a look at the back tester. If I click here, we have had 68 uh, entries, 48.53% uh, uh, profitable, sorry about that. And we've got an uh, 8.6 uh, markdown, drawdown, sorry. So as you can see from the equity curve, it's not very good at all. We've got a 3.2% uh, net profit, which is not the best in the world. As I said, our take profit is on the swing low using again the algorithm that I'm put together, which with is ATR and the swing low. And then we're at 1.5 to risk to reward ratio. You're probably as disappointed as me, but don't worry, I have run this through my uh, optimizer, the Python bot that I made, which actually optimizes all the take profit etc and I've left it running for a couple of hours and now uh, we're going to have a look at to see what the results are for that it actually used a take profit uh, percentage which seemed to work better which I actually prefer myself it's just personal opinion uh, it's because that way I know when I go to bed at night I know that maximum that I could lose is 1.6% for example if the stop loss is here uh, the problem with uh, swing highs and swing lows is uh, when the market dips all of a sudden you can find yourself with a huge stop loss and a huge uh, take profit that will never get hit. So I'm going to have a look at that and uh, we'll look through the code together. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what my Python bot actually suggested was a fixed percentage rate of 1.6 and 2.8. So we're not far off the 1 to 1.5 uh, ratio anyway. That's already taken us up to a 20% uh, net profit and 47% profitable. It's given us 53 trades, so we still need a bit more confluence and to actually know that this is actually going to work in the long run. Other changes that were suggested by my bot was... Uh, going down here and actually changing this to the 12 hour instead of the one day and that's taken us up to 59% uh, net profit 21 and then the last bit was was actually to take the oversold and the overbought of the actual time frame to around the 50 uh, 52 to uh, 49 or 48 I believe it was if I remember rightly and that's given us a, a considerable more amount of trades at 234 still 50% profitable and giving us a net profit of 200% so that actually was worth 
running that bot. Okay, right, I'm just going to go very, very quickly through the code with you if you'd like to see that. Okay, the code, as I said, it uses the multi time frame use security, it says uh, here, which stops us from actually uh, repainting. I've also added the lines here, as I said, of code for the oversold and the overbought areas. Very quick algorithm here, we, well, an if else statement here, which uh, makes sure that we're over using the above, the overbought and the oversold, and for the lower time frame as well. And then we just did an if else statement to make sure that the Bollingers are true. And then we just run it through and that was it. So pretty simple strategy. The results are quite good when we managed to actually get a good settings for it. As you can see, the markdown is 14%, which is not too, too bad. It's not fantastic. It's worth uh, trying to improve a little bit more. As you can see, the equity curve is quite good at going up. And we've also got 207%. Okay, so I believe that my bot actually come back with a maximum percentage of return rate of around 300%, which is excellent. So it's well worth uh, having a look into it, a bit of food for free for improving the bot you can look at find all of these settings on my discord channel and you can download this indicator for free off of trading view okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to me give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as always you can join me on my patreon page too thanks for all the support it's 2 30 in the morning i'm now going to go to bed and i'll wish you a good weekend and i'll see you on monday have a good day and keep safe and keep coding have a good day. Goodbye.